Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of our Milo's travel video. We're so excited for today's video as we will be walking you through the most authentic, traditional, and colorful fishing villages on the island. Also, we will be sharing with you more incredible beaches to discover in Milo's. Okay, so guys, let's jump right into our first village called Feropotamos. And as you can see, it's already looking so stunning from the distance. So you just have to drive for about 12 minutes from Adamantas, or if you're from Plaka, it's only 4 kilometers away from there. Just be aware that parking spaces are only limited here, and the street is kinda narrow, so parking can be really tricky. So please consider to come here earlier. But nevertheless, this village is a must-see here and it will never disappoint you. Feropotamos is such a beautiful and peaceful fishing village on the north side of the island. It's a great location to just be laid back. There's a nice little beach with crystal clear blue watercolor and it's also really clean. The scenery around is also really stunning and the vibrant cliffs, cute boat houses and the mountain view just so amazing. You know what, if we're gonna visit Milos again one day, we would absolutely love to book an accommodation here. It would be so lovely to stay one of these boat houses and with this Aegean blue water right next to your doorstep, what a blissful moment, right? And here you can really feel how tranquil and peaceful the vibe is. Guys, check this out. It looks so nice. It's the view of the whole Peropotamos fishing village. It looks so nice. We are actually on the top of the mountain now. It's windy, but the view is so amazing. <laughs> And now here comes another charming and colorful fishing village and it is called Mandrakia. It's quite smaller compared to Firupotamos. And from there, it's only four to five kilometers away. It is also the most easiest village to reach to. I'm just gonna enjoy this spot here alone. Look, I'm alone here, guys. I don't even know where Philip is. Now, this one here has also a unique character. So cute, quaint, and definitely peaceful as well. Mandrakia Fishing Village has really a special place in my heart, I would say. It's just so charming to walk around here and I would say it's worth stopping by and checking out. There are also some modern accommodations around so you can definitely stay here. There's even a taverna and a little church. And apart from that, it is actually near the famous lunar beach of Sarakiniko. So it's really perfect to visit after a long day exploring the lunar beach. So on the same day, we decided to go back to Sarakiniko since it's just around the corner and this place really deserve a second visit. 
but this time we discovered caves and some other spots we haven't seen on the first time we were here. It is so unbelievable that this place exists here on the island. We were still so mesmerized by its beauty. And even though it's already our second time here. If you want to watch a much detailed video about this place, you may check our previous vlog. But anyways, going back to Mandrakia, you know that there is actually one beautiful beach called Torco Talasa and it's only a walking distance from the village and this beach is also really something that you shouldn't be missed when you get here what a shame that we didn't notice it the first time we came here so the next day we came back to Mandrakia and went straight to the beach and of course went swimming Look at that, it's the other perspective of the beach. So beautiful, no? Love it. Now, moving on to our third village. It's the most famous of all, the most vibrant, and the biggest one. And by the way, it's already our second time here. The first time we came here was unfortunately unsuccessful. The weather was pretty bad and we weren't able to explore and hang around. We really like how short distance the attractions here so it's super easy to just visit places multiple times. Klima is really charming and it is famous because of the colorful boathouses known as Sirmata. These are traditional two-story houses that were used by the local fishermen long time ago and nowadays most of it have restored and became an accommodation facilities for tourists. That they put something like this here because it's it's really slippery. The water, guys, it's so clear. So fluffy. <laughs> so fluffy. Oh my God, he's so friendly. Okay, smelling something. We don't have food. <laughs> and look at the clear water. It's really big guys, this is the biggest fishing village that we've been to, so, all the way from there. <laughs> Planning where to go next. It's so good. And then we drove to another famous spot 
here called Tigrado Beach. We've seen lots of beautiful photos online of this particular spot so we decided to check it out. It's just a very small beach and I would say very difficult to access. It's a cool spot though for those who are active and love adventure. Little path to go down. So, oh my god, look at that guys. <laughs> you want to do it? You really want to do it? Let's do it. So I'm gonna go first guys. No sleepers. My legs are already burning guys. We just leave our stuff here. We're not gonna go swimming here because the water doesn't really look good. Most challenging part guys, I don't think I can go down there. And it's not really worth it I would say. Like the water, it doesn't really look good. And yeah. Okay, at least we came here to check it out. So we're gonna go back now. <laughs> uh, no, not worth it, no? No. So, yeah, there's a beach nearby. That's what we're gonna be checking next. <gasps> okay. <laughs> At least we, we tried, yeah. The ladder is too thin and it hurts <laughs> your feet. Oh, God. Oh. oh my God. I won't do that again. Just nearby, there's another beach called Firiplaka Beach. It's actually one of the biggest beaches here. But the waves were so rough that time so we weren't able to go swimming. But the beach view was amazing. The waves are wild today. A traditional musaka, it's like a lasagna or something with a cheese mm, yum 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 and then I got lamb with um, lemon sauce and then I requested for a rice because I've been craving for rice since like a few days ago <laughs> so yeah that's all for dinner more are coming It was really nice driving around the ragged and mountainous side of Milos until we came across another beach called Castanas Beach. The road is so rough and narrow, it can be really problematic if you have a huge car here. Oh, dusty here. It's like we're driving around Sahara. We ended up here at Castanas Beach. We're not there yet. We decided to park our car there because the road is really hard here. Look at that. And we don't want to have problems going up. Uh, we have to walk around 230 meters. Not really that far though. So, look at the cliffs. First blick. It's nice. And it's quiet. Really nice though. Castanas Beach is a secluded pebbled beach. What makes it interesting are those unique rock formations and its colors. There's red, orange, and yellow. It's just very beautiful to see. Plus, the turquoise watercolor is so mesmerizing.
colorful. Just 11 kilometer drive from Astanas, we came across another cute fishing village with a stunning little beach. From here, you can spot the that lunar beach of Sarakiniko, and then there's another beach there, and then here on this side is another little fishing village, the smallest I've seen so far. <laughs> And yeah, it's nice here, guys. Mitakas. What's the name? Mitakas. Mitakas is the name actually, according to Google. And it's also really stunning here, you guys. And the water looks so crystal clear as always. Like everywhere we go, such a nice view. We're actually confused which beach to go to. You want to go there? There's a little beach uh, next to the that fishing village and then here The beach here looks bigger though, so Yeah, it's nice What are you guys? Um, we decided to go here instead because the water is calmer and then we spent the rest of our afternoon chilling at the bay near Adamantas you just park your car there it's free parking and then you're already here really nice looking beach although there's a lot of seaweeds but the water looks so clean and it's so calm today It's just near our hotel guys and yeah this is our this is our last stop for today because um, we're gonna return our rental car at 5 in the afternoon and it's already about 2 in the afternoon so we decided to just come here since we haven't checked this spot yet. Greek salad, Mito's beer. Yeah. Sunset. It's so, so yummy. 